it's look, the first fight they had a lot of respect for each other as soon as Canelo tested positive I think all that respect went out the window Triple G felt disrespected it's it was a big uh, cancellation for him it was a fight that he was looking forward to that rematch you know starting from the controversy from the first fight the decision from the first fight which nobody on the Triple G team agreed with even HBO uh, didn't agree with that so uh, he wanted to get him back in the ring then we had the positive tests, not just one, but two positive tests. And look, Triple G was very uh, direct in his comments, what he thought, his opinion. So was Abel Sanchez. And uh, this uh, affected Canelo. He took that personal. Gennady took it personal when uh, he felt a, an athlete of Canelo's caliber. It's a highest class caliber uh, where these two guys are fighting. And uh, Triple G just feels there's really no excuse to have a positive test. He knows, Triple G knows, if he had a positive test, the boxing world would go bananas, especially Canelo, especially Gold, Golden Boy. I'd say there's something in that punching power. You know, there have been so many uh, allegations about something on his wraps or his gloves or training up here in Big Bear. Why is he punching so hard? And uh, he just feels that if, if he had the test, it would have been a disaster for him. And, and he felt the same way. He just felt that uh, it was careless. From uh, Canelo, he was very expressive, and, and uh, I can tell Canelo's pissed off, Triple G's pissed off, but that's really what's going to make it a great fight for the fans. The fans are the winners in this whole controversy because they're going to see, first fight was a great fight, but the second fight, the rematch, I think, is going to be uh, even to a better level. Canelo changes, if he's not as defensive, uh, that would be a great thing for the fans. He's predicting a knockout, and you can't knock somebody out by being defensive. You know, he did go 12 rounds. You have to give him credit for that. You might say he survived 12 rounds. It, it was a competitive fight, so we can't take anything away from Canelo. But now he's a year older. He has the experience of going 12 rounds. We hope his confidence is higher now where he can actually uh, be more aggressive, like he's saying. He predicted the first fight. He said he's the only true Mexican in there, that it's going to fight like a Mexican. And, and he fought completely different. He fought the style that he criticized, Floyd for fighting and Laura for fighting. But um, look, it's, uh, this has become personal. Um, Triple G is going to start a lot faster. He's going to cut off the ring. Now that we know what to expect from Canelo, he's never fought like that uh, once before in his whole career. So now we know what possibly could happen in there. Triple G will be much better prepared for this uh, defensive style. We have new shoes designed by Jordan with faster soles. That way he'll be quicker in the ring. He'll be able to get there faster than Canelo moves side to side. So we appreciate uh, uh, the new shoes from Jordan. And, um, and I think Gennady be better prepared for uh, this defensive style that Canelo brought the first time around.